numbers have fewer drug shortages, right? But in the total marketplace, the numbers been consistent over time. You don't see it at it as much in the news because we're focused on something else right now called the pandemic, right? <laughs> but uh, once the pandemic gets out of the news, I think you'll hear more about drug shortages. Uh, our members don't experience drug shortages because we have the safety stock, we have redundant suppliers. And, we, and during the, for example, during COVID, 11 of our medications are you, were used to treat patients who were in the hospital for COVID as supportive care. And that would be pain medicine, sedation agents, neuromuscular blockers, antibiotics, helping people on and off respirators and ventilators. Membership is actually, we measure the membership by the number of health systems. So we have over 50 health systems and those 50 health systems have about 1500 hospitals that we represent. So there's about 1500 hospitals today. That number changes almost on a weekly basis. More people come to join Civica. Um, but we, we work with the health systems, but we deliver product directly to hospitals. Every member does pay a one-time fee to help capitalize the company. So for example, the founding members, the ones who are on our board of directors, they pay the largest fee. And then we have the middle tier of members, they pay a middle rate. And then we have the, what we call partnering members. They pay the lowest fee. They pay only $300 per licensed hospital bed. So it's very affordable for a community hospital of 10 beds. They pay a one-time fee of $300 per bed. And if they can't afford it, uh, because they're one of the hospitals that are the, you know, the, the last resort hospital, our board of directors will waive that fee for them. So our members do pay a one-time fee. Then as we sell the medication back to the members, that's a self-sustaining business. And the members' one-time fee go into the pot to help us build that plant in Virginia. <laughs>